Hey everybody, I have a video here for you today, and people who have subscribed to me lately, last fall, in the beginning of last winter, and actually it went on for quite a while, I made a video on every structure they call a pyramid in Egypt, and that was quite a lengthy and an educational video series for me to do. Probably the best thing I've done on YouTube as far as understanding what these structures are and what they aren't on the west side of the Nile here. And for new subs, let's just do a review here real quick. It all starts up at Abu Ruwash in the north here. But here is the northernmost of the pyramid fields up at Abu Ruwash. And of course, Jadefere is up on the hill right here. And even here you can see the massive mile-long causeway that I estimate has more construction material in it than at least a few pyramids. It's many meters across and a mile long. Those are some of the most underappreciated structures in all of Egypt. But going down here, we go about four miles down. And we come to Giza here and the Great Pyramids. And continuing the tour down, about four miles south of that, that is Zayat al Ariyan. But that, but Zayat al Ariyan, that huge mysterious structure covered up now in a military complex by trash. Then we have what they call the Sun Temples and a few structures here at Abu Ghraib, the Pyramid Field at Abu Sir. The pyramids at Saqqara. Then we come down here to Dashur. And there are actually four pyramids mainly at Dashur. People think of the bent and the red, but there's some other structures. And then we get to Mazguna. But if we back it out here, you can see how the rest of it goes. Mazguna right here. And then all the way down here is Lisht. Some try to associate that with Giza. I don't know how the heck they get that. But down here we have Elahun and the Fayum region, which is one of the oldest regions in Egypt. And we have the Hawara Pyramid right here, along with the mysterious underground labyrinth, as it is called. But that is a good review of where most of the pyramids are. There are other pyramids located in different areas besides this pyramid field from Hawara up to Abu Ruwash, the one we are mostly familiar with. And I did mark the Maydoom Pyramid right here because I know a lot of people are interested in that. And that is a mysterious site with a few different periods of building. But going up from Maydoom and Lisht here, we are at Mazguna. And these pyramids at Mazguna are not well known. And that is for a reason because there are no answers for them, just as many other structures that the evidence of the attribution is just flimsy at best and almost laughable in some cases. And I did a video on this and I had a message from one of my oldest friends on YouTube and they said, hey, did you ever do a video on the Northern Pyramid? And I said, well, at least I mentioned it in a title and showed it in a video. And then I looked, the lost unfinished pyramid of Mazguna, so no. There is one pyramid I have not talked about, and if I'm going to have a complete pyramid series, well, by golly, I'm going to talk about all the structures and the northern pyramid of Mazguna. I think there's a huge mystery there. But it was clear to me when looking at this and looking at other structures in Egypt, some of them are just shafts cut in the earth, especially the one up at Zayat al Ariyan. And this one, the southern pyramid at Mazguna, just appeared to be just like that, maybe a smaller version. And then time and sediment and earth and sand i just covered it up and disguised it from its original form and what was found beneath here was truly remarkable and i will leave a link below this northern pyramid of mosguna that i have not talked about what was found beneath that well i'll let you decide for yourself if it's worth talking about but here is the northern pyramid of mosguna and this took a little while to find but here you can clearly see the footprint of an ancient structure right here and Google Earth locations verified this was it here. What these are on top, I'm not really sure if this is just something fairly recent that was put in here 
but here is the footprint of what they call the unfinished pyramid of course they say this was never finished and I'll let you decide but here you can see the causeway coming off of it here and this is many meters across these causeways had many courses of stones and really they are as I said they are one of the most underappreciated structures in Egypt that don't get talked about as far as what was put into them I have shown many causeways and how intricate they were and here in this video I show a causeway huge huge stones many layers across many meters across these were huge structures this is what a causeway looks like this is certainly not a causeway now is there anything else to mention around this pyramid well there is evidence of some ancient structures and some of these really old places it seems they had artificial harbors was there one built right in here well when I see straight lines like this I wonder and I also wonder about this you see this here it seems to be a ridge that goes up here and then up this way it almost appears like there is a huge wall around this but is this a natural hill line and let me just show you what is just to the north here and this is really on the border I guess of very southern Dashur because there right up here is one of those strange structures that they say is an unfinished pyramid but all it is is a shaft cut in the earth and open to the sky but right down here as you head towards Mosguna there is this and I don't think I've talked about a structure in this area because I don't see one but here under the surface you can see these like fingers fanning off here and I know what's down here huge massive granite sarcophaguses but really no answer what these are attributed to because I don't see any structure up here and I haven't talked about one I've talked about the one way up here at very southern Dashur and the one right down here at Mosguna there's two of them but let's talk about what's below here I'm just going to use Wikipedia because information is scarce on this site it says the northern Mosguna pyramid is an ancient Egyptian royal tomb which was built during the 12th to 13th dynasty in Mosguna, five kilometers south of Dashur. The building remained unfinished and it is still unknown which pharaoh was really intended to be buried here since no appropriate inscription has been found. The pyramid was rediscovered in 1910 by Ernest McKay and excavated in the following year by Flinders Petrie. Now it says here, when the two Mazguna pyramids were rediscovered, scholars noticed many structural similarities between those two in Amenemet's pyramid at Hawara. For this reason, the southern pyramid was attributed to the son and successor of this king. Now the only reason why it gets attributed to this son is, between, is because of a structural similarity to a wrongly attributed pyramid down at Hawara. Now here is Alcatron. I use them in a recent video. It says Mazguna, five kilometers south of Dashur, is a site of several mud brick pyramids dating from the 12th dynasty. And the attribution to the 12th dynasty comes from nothing found inside the pyramids, just fragments, small fragments of stuff that had pharaoh's names inscribed on them. And here is a look at what the site looks like today, very undistinguishable but uh, clearly you can see other smaller structures in the area now the attribution of the Mazguna pyramids the southern pyramid at Mazguna the one I talked about in February was attributed to the son and successor of Amenemet the fourth and that was based on structural similarities based on the pyramid at Hawara and the attribution of that pyramid which just is based on a later king coming along and adding on to an original structure there and the northern pyramid was attributed to the female pharaoh Sobek Neferu only because she is a sister of Amenemet the fourth and the last ruler of the 12th dynasty the attributions of these pyramids is so strange and weird and lacking in any substance or evidence of any value 
I really scratch my head sometimes when I read about this stuff. Now I have made about four or five videos where I go over what is in Egyptian dynastic pharaohs tombs. This is what is below the northern unfinished pyramid of Mazguna. A stairway coming down to a huge granite block here that was supposed to be blocking this. They theorized and it was just never used. And this is really different from some of the other ones we have looked at. There are passages that go down another huge block, stairways that go down further, descend, go down further to finally what we have down here. But finally, when you make your way down to the end here, what is down here? We have a double compartment with the massive sliding. I would say this is a 30 ton slab right here. Why do I say this? Because this right here is a sliding quartzite lid to a sarcophagus that weighs 42 tons. 42 tons and it's perfectly fitted into a room down here at the very end of all this. This room is made out of a single block of quartzite with a double compartment perfectly carved into it, a smaller one and a bigger one. This is perfectly fitted, made out of a single block of quartzite that I would estimate is at least twice as heavy as the lid. So I would say this approaches 100 tons. These massive blocks of quartzite here, if this weighs 42 tons, I imagine these are those 150 ton quartzite blocks that we have read about. But here, this just blows me away. You have just a pile of sand on top and a few traces of structures. And then down below, you have this. How in the heck did they get these massive things in these rooms perfectly fitted all the way at the end of this? This is a big mystery. I think this is as big as mystery as the Serapium and we are all familiar with that. I like bringing you mysteries that aren't talked about as much and this is certainly one of them. Well after I did that pyramid series what were all these places with these weird mysterious huge sarcophagus and unexplained underground ruins? Well I have no idea but I have a guess. I think they have to do with the symbolic burial of Osiris. We have 13 or 14 of these spread out all the way up and down the Nile. Is that what it has to do with an original myth of the burial of Osiris and the original house of Osiris? And we certainly know where that is based on this glyph in the ancient text. It's the Osiris shaft the one that everybody associates to Osiris and an original symbolic tomb. This is the glyph spelled out PR, which means house. It is used different ways. Where do they associate it to? Well, it's entered right behind Anubis underground shafts. We know where it is based on what we see at the Giza plateau today. Now I get a lot of questions and I think it's an excellent question and related to Anubis and I could relate it to Osiris in this video. How could it be about Osiris and Anubis if it was pre-dynastic? Well, let's just remember that the Egyptians themselves say the history of what we call Egypt goes back a lot further than the first dynasty and we have clear evidence of that. The story of Anubis and Osiris is just what we think of it today in the modern terms, the Greek terms. There are original names. The original name for Osiris is A-S-A-R, Azar. And that's why Lazarus is called Lazarus. And I will go into that in a video that a lot of you are waiting for. But I will leave a link for my pyramid series and you will see a whole bunch of underground locations like this. I think these were built by the original builder gods and they have to do with the symbolic burial of the scattered parts of Osiris. That is just a guess based on what I see and what I read. And those of you who have seen my Egyptian tomb videos know that there is little space in those tombs where there is not something engraved. Well, there is nothing engraved in here, period. So how can they even begin to try to associate this 
with a dynastic king of Egypt. There is nothing in here that even hints that the builders were dynastic Egyptians. We have the Turin's king's list, we have Seti's king's list, and we have a whole bunch of ancient texts that reflects an earlier time in Egypt. In some texts they are called actually the builder gods, and they didn't inscribe anything on anything. But I'm sure I could hear a lot of you at one point saying, I've never heard of the Mazguna pyramids. Well, there is a reason for that. People like Zahi Awas and Mark Lehner have no logical answer for it based on what was found there. But that is a good review of what my pyramid series was all about in Egypt. A lot of things were discovered that really I and a lot of you had no idea existed. It gives us somewhat of an answer to what existed before and after the dynastic Egyptians based on the construction and other things. Hope you thought that was cool and you all have a very nice day.